Hi everyone, welcome back to U77. Here we are on our weekly patrol log in Silent Hunter 5. Uh, we are steaming around, and as you can see from... Uh, if I just come out here onto the conning uh, tower, it's a real pea super. So we've got to really keep an eye out for any uh, ships or any uh, contacts. Good news is, aircraft won't be up in this, so that's good news, but obviously we could accidentally run into a destroyer without realizing it which would be bad <laughs> I don't need to tell you that right I'll show you where we are we are here I'll zoom out a little bit give you a bit more scope we're um, in this part of the woods there's I've been circling around here nothing so I've come around here to the port of Nassau and if anyone know, everyone knows about Nassau it, it was a big pirate haven back in the day so I thought that's very fitting for us to come and have it have a look um, see if we can get any ships coming out of Nassau port uh, and we did get a contact out here, you can see it's now faded, um, and we're charging into that direction, and then we'll dive down, uh, listen to the sonar, or the hydrophone, to see if we can pinpoint it, and try and chase that ship down. We have one torpedo in the rear, we might as well get that loaded into the torpedo tube, I'm not sure why we didn't. And we have two ladder search patterns, torpedoes in one and two, and we have steam torpedoes in tubes three and four, and that's pretty much it. We've got our deck gun, of course. Um, and we are still going. This is 1st of September. We're now in March. Okay, that's fine. Good. Right, all good and groovy. Right, so we're going to try and blat over to this position, somewhere in this vicinity, and then dive down, listen to the hydrophone, and try and pinpoint her, then blat in that direction until we find her. As I say, the the fog and mist could cause a bit of an issue where we, um, we run straight into the side of her, so we will have to check the hydrophone just to make sure we're not going to do that. Uh, and I'll bring you back when we are... Either found her or we, we've given up trying to find her. Uh, I'll let you know. I'll see you in a bit. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, so we're down to 33 meters. And I'm glad we did dive when we did because look what we had on our tail. We had a destroyer, or a warship of some description, I'm assuming a destroyer, on our tail. We found the the, um, the contacts up there, though. Those two contacts are um, convoy or merchant shipping, so we're heading that way. Um, yeah, so this is interesting. Let's just move that up there. What, what estimated distance? 12 kilometers. It may be worth getting, uh, because of the mist and the visibility is going to be poor, it may be worth getting above, uh, getting on the surface and um, high speeding it away from his search. Otherwise, we're going to have to go deep. Obviously, we're in the deep waters uh, by the looks way. of it. What is the uh, distance to the seafloor? Yeah, so we've got plenty of things, but I'm going to service the boat. Surface the boat. And we're going to blat it as hard as we can to just get over, over to about here. Then we'll dive down again just to get out of the way of his, uh, his, his sonar. Yeah. Oh, good. It's always good fun, isn't it? Eh? Always good fun. There's nothing like a good bit of mist and fog to uh, hide the presence of absolute danger. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. So we are now blasting at full speed ahead. And and I'll show you. So the contact was about here. He was coming down here and we've obviously m motored up up to this point. Uh, and it's a case of how long do you keep it here before, you know, visibility becomes not our saving grace. Don't see anything as yet. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> It's, do you know when you play cat and mouse with the um, depth charges at different layers, you know, diving down with the, uh, the destroyers? This is like a different form of cat and mouse where we're hiding in the in the fog. 
he's stalking us. But we're not sure he actually knows we're here. See, he had his sonar on, so he was just doing a standard listening patrol, maybe. Cool. Uh, the other thing is, of course, have a look at the map. We've uh, lost the sound of the the contacts, because obviously we've surfaced, and we can't see anything in the in the fog. So um, we'll go a little bit longer, then we're going to dive down again, um, take another contact reading, find out where we are in relation to the merchant ships and to the warship and uh, and then take us yeah take stock of what we can do going forward yeah oh fun fun times i know this, obviously it's not it's not action in a way but this is this is what builds up the tension in this game it's you know doing sitting at the bottom of the uh, the sea with depth charges coming down or it's playing cat and mouse in the fog with destroyers it's just this game's got it all <laughs> it really gets you it really gets you. Uh, I love it. I love it. Right. We're going to press on and hopefully manage to dodge the destroyer or warship, whatever it is down here. If it, uh, I say warship. It's going to be a destroyer or it's going to be something smaller like a, an armored tug or a, or a patrol boat or a torpedo boat. Something like that. Um, but judging by the speed it was going, I would suggest it's probably a destroyer or an armored, an armored ship of some type. Uh, not a a PT boat or a Two torpedo boat five. because it Ready. didn't seem to be going quick enough, but it could just be uh, cruising. And I'm not sure they yeah, they do have um they do have hydrophones, don't they? So all right, tube five is in. Good, we're all ready to go. Let's uh, continue on and um, see what fate throws at us. Depth, one, zero, meters. Hi everyone, welcome back. Let's have a quick look at the map. Good news is that destroyer or warship did not detect us and he's continued on his path. Uh, the bad news is the merchant ships which we had a contact up there, they now had a contact down here. So we've turned to face that way. Although I'm wondering if, you know, well there they are. That's that's the one. Is he going to meet him? That's the other, the other question. What I might do is if, if we know the destroyer is going that way, let's turn around, go behind the destroyer, Staying and head across. to the port entrance and see if we can get anything coming in and out. Because we should have shipping there, shouldn't we? So, yeah, that might be... We'll let that one go. Hopefully he will go as well. And uh, we'll we'll head behind him. We'll double back and go to the, uh, the port mouth and see if we can get any ships coming in all right. And um, fire our remaining torpedoes. Moving slow, moving away, bearing 20, one, well, long range. M long range, they look really quite thick signals for long range, but he's obviously referring to that contact which is going up there, I guess. Um, but we're turning now. Decision has been made. Can't see anything in the blooming fog anyway, so uh, yeah, we're going to continue back to the port and uh, see what's going on there. As I say, we've only got four torpedoes in the, the front and one in the rear. So we haven't got that much in the way of ordnance to um, fire. Uh, we may call for... Look, we've got these, these old resupply ships which are still dotted around here. I assume that's what they are. Um, we may need to get a re resupply. Well, we will need to get a resupply and then come back into the action. But um, yeah, we just want something small now just to finish off our load and then we'll get a, a reload and, and, and come back and hopefully find a, a convoy. They've been quite in short supply, convoys. Um... Yeah, they're probably doing the Atlantic convoy, so you probably don't get the convoys. They probably get them up from here, from uh, Beaufort and um, from Norfolk, etc., and, and around the New York area. Yeah, because obviously the convoys sail over the Atlantic to uh, to the UK. So yeah, yeah, it's unlikely to get convoys down here, but you never know. Right. Anyway, we're gonna press on. I'll see you in a bit. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, quick update for you. We have a contact. However, we're nowhere near where I last left you. We went down to Nassau Port. Nothing was there. We went around here for 10, 
20 minutes. Nothing was there. So we thought, right, we'll come back to where we know there's some kills around um, Old Miami. Um, we are in shallow waters, Captain. SS Oranta or oh, Toronto? Oh, Toronto? Okay, we may have a look at that, sorry. Um, anyway, we've got this little ship here. Visibility is li literally nil, as you can see. We're, we're, we're barreling towards it now. Um, here we go. The mouse works. I'll, uh, I'll climb up the ladder. If it doesn't, I'll just uh, swing the camera around hopelessly like I was doing. Right, as you can see, it's uh, 7 o'clock in the morning, so um, it's getting bright. So you might be able to see the ship on the horizon. Uh, not yet, you can't. Okay, fine. Um, there it is. So I was looking in completely the wrong direction. So we've got an merchant ship coming towards us. Let's have a look. We are blatting along, so if we slow down a bit, let's calm, calm our roll a bit and see if it is possible to get the old deck gun in action. Uh, and we're slowing down. Hold on. Okay. It is a bit choppy, I'll be honest. But if we start riding the raids rather than um, smashing through them. There we go. That's a bit better, isn't it? Hold on. Okay. Yeah, it's not really yeah, deck. Shallow waters, Captain. We're not in deck gun weather, and we're in shallow waters, which makes it a little bit tricky how to plot this attack. Right away. Depth under keel is 15 meters, Captain. 15 meters. I suppose we could go submerged just. Um. <laughs> He's coming. Okay, we'll start plotting him anyway. Um, he's going at a fair old lick. All right, let's head head north. And maybe set up a. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try and set up an attack vector. Obviously, we can probably get pretty damn close, judging by his um, visual, visual range of him is about 300 meters. Why is it increasing all of a sudden? Um, so we may be able to sit, say, a kilometer away and um, on the surface in front. No, no, his he's visual range is increasing. Joy. Right, so he's coming on a course... Uh, like that. Uh, what's our distance? Oh, brilliant. So if we um, periscope depth it and stop, hopefully we can set ourselves attack up. Right, I'm going to uh, let him come on to us and hopefully not get too close. We're quite close. Um... Yeah. Right, I'll set this up and I'll bring you back when we are ready to go, I think. Okay, here we go. Let's, uh, we're kind of submerging very slowly. We're at 9 meters. There we go, there he is. Let's get the periscope up. It's still quite murky, so visibility is not great. Um, chief, or not chief, weapons officer. Uh, CIB type medium merchant. Okay, thank you very much. Um, let's get the old periscope up a bit more. Now, I calculated his speed. He was doing... Let's have a quick look. I think it was 400 meters. 400 meters in a minute, which is... Da -da 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 -da! 13 knots. Crikey, he is... Blimey, did he leave, um, leave the hair straighteners on or something. Why is he flying? <laughs> He's flying! He's absolutely flying. So, um, yeah, speed, 13 knots. Wow. Anyone think he's nervous? Right, so we know uh, angle of bow. Um, calculate that now. Look at him go. Goodness me. 25. Is 
Let's just recalculate that because obviously he's going so quickly. By the time I put that in, that's 30. There you go, good. Uh, range is, oh god, we're very close actually. We're range is um, 800. It's going to be 500 meters. That should be okay. Uh, 850 at the moment. Okay. What we got then? We've got uh, steams in three and four. So three and four. Load that, flood those two. Right. Uh, we'll go a bit choppy, so we'll go midpoint. Uh, we'll go medium speed. Uh, let's just bring up this. He's flying, isn't he? Absolutely flying. Um, so we'll go slow. Because we're so close, and this one will set to fast. Okay. Got this good little song going on there, haven't they? Right, so he's now uh, 500 meters. Stand by to fire. Fire. Switch now to four. Two four can fire now, but we're holding off. We're holding off. That one looks bang on target. Torpedo is a dot, sir. Two, four, fire. Closing two, four, and cross. Obviously, it's got the angle of bounce so that can recalculate, which is good. Now, let's see how this one gets on. It's not as good an angle. Oh. Right. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, on the way to the rendezvous, we've come across another ship. Um, so, uh, we're just blatting our way now to try and get into... Well, we're just slowing down, actually. We've just been at flank speed to get ahead of it. We've plotted its course. We've plotted its speed. It's doing about five knots. Um, and we're just coming into this uh, area now, and hopefully uh, we'll dive down in a second. Uh, so you can't see us, because you can see the visibility ring. Weather has improved significantly. We have those two ladder search pattern torpedoes, which we'll use just as a standard, uh, a standard gas torpedo. There yeah, we fine. We'll be fine. Um, yeah. So that's all good. We're gonna lock in now. Try and get into this position, and uh, yeah, be ready to fire when she comes along. So um, yeah, diving down very shortly to uh, avoid detection, and hopefully we can get ourselves into a good position. Okay, let's go and uh, we've now got into our position. Let's uh, see if we can get the old um, periscope up and lock onto this sub. So she should be coming from this direction. This sub. Uh, this ship, sorry. There she is. Target marked. She is a merchant ship. She is, in fact, a medium old split freighter type 2, bearing 279 degrees. Range 500. Well, we'll uh, calculate that in a little bit different. Um, let's have a look. So range is approximately... Beep. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll wait till that's 
bit close before we bother doing that. R speed we got down to five knots. Good, good. Angle of bow we'll wait till she gets a little bit closer. So we'll um, we'll just sit tight for a moment and let her come on to us and uh, hopefully when she comes near the circle we can uh, set up the final bits of our attack run. So I'll see you in a few. Okay, she's now coming into our kill zone, so let's just work out the angle of bow. Uh, that is 43. Oh, it's probably changed now, because that takes so long, to so fiddly to do. Five knots. Bearing range, we can uh, calculate again. Range is going to be 1500. I might as well just type that in, it'll be quicker. Lovely, right, torpedo tube one. Flooding tube one, the professor. Um, so you, see, you can see the red light water line sort of bobbing above, so it's a little bit. Um, choppy and she's a bit high in the water so we're going to go on the surface to make sure we get the best chance of having a strike um, yeah Nine. Good. That's about right. So, uh, distance when we're going to fire is going to be around about 1,000 to 1,100 meters. So, I'll bring that down to about 1,100 for now. Although, that will distort everything slightly, actually. That's not a great idea. 1350 at the moment. Let's, let's just keep the. Let's keep just to keep updating it and then we can see the clock or the uh, gyro angle calculating it uh, slightly more accurately um, so we're still going on that's all looking good let's just give it a moment okay a few moments have passed let's have a look now um, double check everything Angle about is seventy eight. Okay, that needs to just uh, there we go. That's about right now. Uh distance is eleven hundred meters, which we is what we predicted. Okay, five knots. Ready to go. We'll get Closing Torpedo Tube, tube 2 flooded, flooded as well. Let's take that on fast. Tube Torpedo Tube 1, fire. Tube. Slightly before the... Um, the gyro angle said it was. Oh, so I actually misread that slightly, but... Um, Be ready to go with two if one doesn't have any luck. Do you know that I might that I might sleep behind. You know, is that going to go behind? No, it's not. It's not. Okay. You cut. You pan in your eyes between the the torpedo and the ship, and it, every so often you think, oh, it's going to it's speed it up. Oh, there she's gone. Whoa! Look at that hole in the hull. Good gracious. Closing tube two. 
Look at that. That is torpedo damage right there. Oh, she's gone. Um, so that was the medium old split freighter 2 sunk for 5,074 tons. Warship tonnage, 8,458. Merchant tonnage, 373,086. Total tonnage, 381,544. 56 ships sunk. And we have two torpedoes left. Champion. Right. Um, that was a fun distraction and thankfully a successful one. We've had a bit of bad luck today or things haven't gone our way, shall we say. Right, um, so let us. Hello, there you go. Let's plot our course. We are going to cut across here up to the deep water up here. Then we're going to come this way and then ah, oh, there it is. Rendezvous is there. Good, right. See you later. Have fun. There they are. There's the survivors. Good stuff. Right, we're going to mosey on, and I th think... No, we'll go to the uh, the rendezvous and the resupply, and uh, I'll see you in a little bit. Welcome back everyone, there we are, all stop, there is our resupply ship, looking fantastic. Hey boys, let's have some fresh bread please, let's uh, refit, refit complete, lovely, let's double check everything, nice, got some electric torpedoes, some more um, ladder search passion, and all the steam, good, um, subsystems obviously we know are damaged anyway, fuel, is good and crew morale should be high yes it is we have a point to spend but we'll uh, we'll hold off on that for the moment good right we're going to leave it there thanks to our friends over there for the resupply and we'll call it a day there for this weekly patrol it's been a long frustrating day we had that tank oh that ship in our sights we, we had two um dud torpedoes you know firing from 500 meters we should be okay that shouldn't be in a problem with i don't know who knows? There was an issue anyway, and we didn't get the uh, the kills we needed or wanted. Uh, lovely clear water here. Uh, we just resupplied after killing a, uh, a split freighter en route. Um, so we've at least got another 5,000 tons to show for our uh, hard efforts this week. Uh, and we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this. If you are, hit that thumbs up. Um, videos will be slightly random over the Christmas period, as it is Christmas and things happen. Uh, <laughs> so I hope you have a lovely Christmas and holiday season, and I'll see you next week for more Sun Hunter 5. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.